Come on now, join with me, everybody sing. I'm gonna lift my voice to glorify my King. He is a mighty God and worthy of our praise. We give Him everything, He's good in every way. Come on now, join with me, everybody sing. I'm gonna lift my voice to glorify my King. He is a mighty God and worthy of our praise. We give Him everything, He's good in every way. He is always there for us. He's good in every way. Pouring out His awesome love. He's good in every way. He fills us up with peace and joy. He's good in every way. Hi guys, I'm Miss Dana. I'm Pastor Joel's wife. And first of all, I just want to say how much I miss our kids count class. Remember all the fun we had? We would play games and we would make crafts and we did a lot of laughing. I loved hearing about your week that you had had and what you had coming up for the next week. But you know what I miss most of all? Remember how we would turn out the lights at the end of class and we would use that lantern and we would turn it on real low so we would have real low soft light and then we would bow our heads and fold our hands and say a prayer to get us through that next week. That was so fun. I really miss those days. But we're doing things this way now and that's fun too doing it via video that's fun and it keeps us safe it keeps us um, safe and happy and healthy until we get a chance to be back in the classroom together so this week we have a funny story because it's about birds and how birds came along and fed a man in the desert Elijah when he was in the desert they actually came along and fed him. Isn't that funny? So Pastor Joel and I are animal lovers and we have a bird feeder out in our backyard and we love to watch all of the birds that come along. They come up to the bird feeder and grab a snack. We have robins that come along with their big fat orange tummies and we have blue jays and blue jays are just beautiful. They're big and bold and striking blue and white and black colors and um, we have hummingbirds that come along and drink from the flowers they get the nectar from the flowers um, and we even have um, little black cat chickadees um, that are so cute they're like little puff balls I love them we have doves we have wrens and sparrows and swallows and orioles we have nuthatches and woodpeckers. But our favorite bird that comes along is a, um, a cardinal. 
and we call him Carl the Cardinal because he is very gallant and gentlemanly. What he does, he's very handsome, he's all red and black and he comes to the bird feeder and he gets some food and we noticed that what he does is he takes the food and feeds his wife because cardinals are birds that mate for life. They have one husband and wife that live together throughout their lifetimes. And so Carl's wife would sit there on the um, railing next to the bird feeder and she would shake and shiver all over. Can you do that? Kind of shake and shiver all over to get his attention. She would get all shivery. He would come from the bird feeder and bring her a morsel of food and put it in her beak and feed her. So she was a little diva. <laughs> and she got lots of attention and Carl was very loving. He was a very good husband. So we love watching the birds and we loved watching Carl feed his wife. So our story today is about a prophet named Elijah. Do you know what a prophet is? A prophet is someone who would speak for God. So God would talk with him and he could tell the king what he had learned from God. Well, in our story, Elijah had learned that a drought was coming. Do you know what a drought is? That's when it doesn't rain for a very long time. Guess how long God had told Elijah there was going to be a drought? Three years. For three years it wasn't going to rain. And so Elijah had very bad news to tell the king that they weren't going to get any rain for three years. What would happen if it didn't rain for three years? Think about that. Would the trees be able to grow? Would the grass be able to grow? What would people be able to drink? Could you give your dog, your pets, anything to drink without any water? So with no water, there was going to be a famine in the land where people weren't going to be able to drink or live, and it was going to be very hard. So Elijah did not want to tell the king, King Ahab, that this was coming. But God said, yep, you've got to go tell King Ahab. Go tell him the bad news. And so he did. Guess what? King Ahab was not at all happy to hear about this drought. And so he got very angry at Elijah. And God said to Elijah, you know what? You better go hide because I think you're in trouble. And Elijah wasn't happy about that. He thought, God, why did you tell me to go tell the king this bad news? Now I have to run away and hide. What's going to happen to me? But God said, go to the desert and stay by a brook and, and I'll take care of you there. So Elijah thought, I don't know about that. I have to go run away to the desert. I have to run and hide. I have an angry king who's going to be looking for me. I'm going to be out in the desert with a drought coming. How am I going to live? Do you think that you would trust God if he told you to go do something that didn't seem to make any sense? God had promised to take care of him. But should Elijah trust him on that? I don't know. I think that would be hard. Well, guess what Elijah did? Do you think he went? He did. Elijah did. He went to the desert, and he went and stayed by the brook where God told him to go. Well, Elijah had water by that brook, so he was lucky. But he was in a desert, so there was no food. There were no fruit trees. There were no restaurants. There wasn't a McDonald's nearby. It was just empty sand and rock. And so Elijah started to get hungry. You know what it feels like to be hungry? I don't like to feel hungry. My tummy rumbles and I kind of get a little angry and I'm really, really wanting food. Like it's all I can think about when I'm hungry. I just want some food. So Elijah was feeling that way. He was like, God, please, I'm getting hungry. Where can I find some food? And then he looked up in the sky and he saw these black things coming out of the sky coming his way they were birds and you know what kind of birds they were they were ravens 
You know what a raven looks like? They're really big. They're like a big crow. And crows back in that day were, were enemies of the people because the crows would eat the farmer's seed. And sometimes, you know, the farmer was sort of fighting against the crows to keep the seed in the ground so it could grow into a plant. And so seeing crows coming his way might have been a little bit scary for him. But these big ravens, these big crows came out of the sky and they landed in the sand next to Elijah's feet. Guess what they had in his mouth, in their mouths? They had food. They had food for Elijah. They brought food for Elijah to eat. They laid the food at Elijah's feet. So the birds came out of the sky and brought Elijah food. Just the opposite of what we do today where we put food out to feed the birds. In this story, the birds fed Elijah. Isn't that wonderful? So Elijah ate his food and he felt so much better. He was so happy to have some food in his tummy. And you know, he must have thought, thank you God, you kept your promise to me. Even when I was doubting that you would give me everything I needed, you did. You brought the ravens to bring me food. So I think that story is important for us to remember even today. There are times in our lives where we wonder if God will keep his promises for us, that he'll take care of us even during scary times, even when we don't feel well, or when we have a big test coming up in school, or when we're playing sports against a really hard team, or when we're feeling sad about a friend, God promises that he'll take care of us and give us everything we need, just like he did for Elijah. Well, I'm so happy I could be with you guys today. It was a lot of fun hearing this, um, this story of Elijah. And you know what? I'm going to be with you again next week, and we're going to hear about an epic battle between Elijah and the Baal prophets. And we're going to do a science experiment too. So be sure to come back next week and we'll have a lot of fun again. All right, till next time. Bye. Woke up this morning feeling kind of blue. A little sad, but I know just what to do. Whoa, oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh. I have learned that I can go to Jesus. He lifts me up whenever I need it. Whoa, oh.
goes through and turns it all around. Yeah, he gives me joy in every situation, keeps my spirits high, no matter what I'm facing.